Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thurs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Drunk Zaku in the Jurik. Jurik is, of course, a gorilla. Beyond that, it is uh, a raid with a bunch of fun tricks. Has a heavy attack, has a mega particle cannon Garabi type weapon, has a shoot everything in a circle charged mega particle cannon, and it has. Uh, Active Guard Kai, so if you use that to tank a certain amount of damage, you can just, uh, ooh, good kill there, uh, you can just uh, get an attack bonus on top of everything else. So yeah, it is a particularly uh, strong raid. See, yeah, Zaku going in with heavy, bonked off of the Red Riders heavy, so, and then caught it in a counter, which somebody else was right there and ready to capitalize on and to, uh, took out the Red Rider. That's a moment that uh, uh, the team support can breathe easy at least. Let's see, good swing there. I have this, uh, again, this thing has so many neat tricks, I have this problem of when something has a gimmick, I like to use it whether it's appropriate or not. I like to lean into, you know, the fancy things. And this, for one thing, has so many fancy things, it can be difficult. And for another, just, yeah, there, there are times when that, that any given skill it has is just not the right thing to be using. And I don't use it often enough to have that judgment really well. So, somebody's coming and just out of range. Like, very, very smartly positioned on the far side of that pillar. I don't know if they saw Zaku or not. But, uh, let's see, what is that? Uh, that is the Red Rider, which means that uh, Zaku just stopped its heavy attack. Unfortunately, I was about to say, uh, he was out of boost, and that thing can combo indefinitely. So, un got, unfortunately, this is probably going to be... Okay, no, Auxiliary Power kicked in, and uh, a as you've seen, it was... Uh, it you know, gives you a super defense buff for uh, a, a good, like, 10 seconds. So, yeah, he had time to get back up and take a shot at somebody. But, yeah, the nice to, uh, that's another thing. Yeah, the Jurek, again, Jurek is just full of uh, fun skills. I have this problem with auxiliary power where I keep, where it just does not end up kicking in. Let's see, okay, yep, enemy was trying to take this point. Saw Zaku and got right back in the robot, as you would. And speaking of robots, robot is coming in. And it is time to, uh, time to fight. Okay. Let's see. Uh, number five is calling uh, for support. Let's see, that is... I think that's a full armor slave wraith? Yeah. And, uh, managed to uh, land the uh, counter, but the counter didn't do much damage because of the type disadvantage. And I'd be willing to bet this uh, this is built for melee defense, but I could be wrong. Definitely not a bad plan, because yeah, as you can see, that there are uh, there are things that will you know just shred it. That said, yeah, it's uh, once the Red Riders uh, Hades ended, it was uh, it was very very vulnerable, vulnerable as in out of feet and almost out of health. See, there is Zogok. That's actually probably not a good matchup, but uh, Zaku just went into uh, went into uh, auxiliary power. So yeah, now it's ended. So super vulnerable, but it did definitely prolong his life. And good shot on the uh, full armor slave wraith down there, which was enough to let somebody else finish it off. And yeah, now it's a good time to be underwater, get the speed bonus. Oh yeah, on top of everything else, it is. Uh, it is uh, an aquatic mobile suit, so it gets faster underwater. It can, it's, it's one of those raids that can do everything but dodge roll. So, uh, but yeah, the three and a half minutes to go. And, you know, time to either uh, pick a fight and blow up or, you know, go somewhere and uh, repair. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out quite either. So now it's time to respawn. Okay, yeah, the Gundam Marine type, that's that's another one that is... The Gundam Marine type is is pretty strong against anything, but against, you know, uh, aquatic melee raids, I'd say that it's a, it's a really good foil. 
but let's see. Teams more in, you know, they're in similar zip codes at least. It's a good start. And bonk. Okay, it was already dead, but good bonk. Yeah, this, uh, I, like I said, I like this thing. I was trying to get around with it uh, the other day. It was not working out, so good timing on Zaku just uh, uh, throwing this uh, in my direction. The, the, the only note he gave me on it was monkey, and yeah, that's fair. It is, uh, again, it is gigantic uh, gorilla, so. See, yeah, stunned out of charge there, but that's okay, because that's about all the uh, full armor slave wreath can do. And it's not going to live long enough to really do much of anything else. Yeah, uh, and that big, like, two-handed uh, pound is great. That's its uncharged downswing, so. Let's see, good hit there, big slam there, tackle there. And, uh, and a neutral. Yeah, neutral, good choice there. Since Zaku was out of boost, it means that you uh, are able to... Uh, you are able... You get... You recover from that animation faster than you do the... Uh, uh, the uh, downswing animation. So, yeah. Let's see. I, ah, good counter there. I was kind of expecting that Red Rider to uh, do a heavy attack, but it just went into the neutral. And that was just perfect. Wow. Yeah, that was two kills on a, on a single downswing. Very nice. And let's see, I landed the heavy on the uh, on the full armor slave wraith. Half of it at any rate. If the if the final hit had landed, it would probably be dead. But see what happens there. In this case, just because of how the life bars. Uh, oh, that was just bad luck getting stuck on the rocks. I think we've all been stuck on the rocks at some point or another, whether literally or metaphorically. But I that seeing the rocks totally voided whatever point I had previously, so it doesn't matter. Let's see. Less than a minute to go. Yep, Zogok. Yeah, there there like I said, there's a couple of different things that can I uh, hear that can fight the Jurek fairly well in different ways. The Zogok being one, because it can it can more or less fight in melee, though I think it would get out prioritized at some points. And it can uh, also uh uh, can probably also stun it a little bit uh, easier from a distance than a few other things. And then, of course, yeah, there's the Gundam Marine type, which just has all the ranged attacks, so. Heavy there did not uh, hit uh, the enemy suit, but uh, it also didn't hit the ally, so that is perfectly fine. Got, uh, got the kill, and now nothing left to do but try and land something, which, yeah, punch a base. Which, oh, and there is something to shoot. It is the marine type. Got a couple of hits on it, and that is the round. Really good round. Uh, yeah, like I said, Jurek is fun, and it hits really, really hard. Uh, let's see. Let's see, top diversions, which, yeah, when you, are a, uh, when you are a big violet gorilla, that happens. Seven and three, and 101,000 damage. Very nice. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So apparently the uh, Call of Duty Gundam crossover tracer packs are out, and uh, I, uh, I haven't covered that myself, but uh, I know some good folks like Red Wolf Vion and others ha uh, have, so you know, check it out if you want to see more. But I'm still never going to be able to look at that uh, Zaku one in particular without wondering if there's a tiny char in that person's chest.